What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for tuning in. Today, I'm talking about the Patagonia Rhythm Collection and my collection of said Patagonia Collection, okay? I only have about four pieces. If you watch this channel, if you follow me on Instagram, you know I collect Patagonia. I love the older stuff. Got to clarify, though, I'm not a fan of the new product. I'm not a fan of the way the company's being run. Uh, everybody's asked me about why that is, and I'll just tell you right now, they actively shut down people who are recycling their clothing. They want to be the only ones who are recycling their clothing or reworking or upcycling their clothing. So they're actively shutting down people who are doing that. Um, so I'm not a fan of how the company's being run right now, but I am a fan of the old stuff. I do believe, uh, Yvonne was a great man. And if you want to know more about all that stuff, you can go watch my full Patagonia collection video down below. I'll put a link down there. But this video is about the Patagonia Rhythm Collection from the early 2000s. Now, I will preface this video. I don't know much about this Rhythm Collection. Now, there is no information online about it. You know, you can find pieces. You can, you can search up on eBay and you can buy a few Rhythm pieces out there but essentially like when you look for information about it there's nothing there's lots of information about vintage patagonia but there's nothing about the rhythm collection in particular everybody knows the collection from this one famous garment the rhythm hoodie it is a deep pile fleece garment uh, very famous to patagonia collectors comes in many many different colors they do the oatmeal there's a burnt orange one that's pretty dope. There is greens, maybe blues, uh, lots of different colors. This is the only one I have is the black. So this whole rhythm collection is famous for this one garment. When you tell people, you know, Patagonia rhythm, this is what they think of. Um, it is very cool. It's a very cool piece. Now, what makes it special is mainly the hood. Patagonia didn't make a lot of garments with hoods. There was a deep pile, reverse pile, original hooded garment. Super rare. I don't have one. I do have a bunch of the original reverse piles, but I don't have a hooded one. And uh, yeah, there's just not a lot of hooded garments. So it's the hood, it's the deep pile, and it's all the other details about this piece that make it sought after. These elbow reinforcements here. And uh, here is the Rhythm logo, this cool abstract art piece with the really cool Rhythm font. That's the logo. And that's the only branding that's forefacing on any of these products from the Rhythm collection. There is no Patagonia, uh, where would it be here? There's no Patagonia branding on the breast like any of the other product. So I have deduced that this Rhythm collection was a branch of Patagonia into the more everyday wearable, fashionable garments, as opposed to technical outerwear or technical, functional, athletic, climbing, outdoors wear. The Rhythm collection seemed to be more of a fashion forward line that they put out, interesting garments, uh, different designs that you could wear every day that weren't as technically functional and also less branding and uh but you know still very interesting still super cool designs on some of them and some of them are sought after for collectors and vintage enthusiasts and some are definitely not you know there was this is the only fleece i think that i've seen from the rhythm line uh there might be more there is organic cottons, and there's also hemp denim, which I'm gonna show you. So like I said, this is the piece that everyone knows the line from. It's the Rhythm Hoodie, super dope. Has these reinforced arms, has the logo here. The hood is what makes it very unique. Um, has a lot of the same detailing as other deep piles. Also has this, this band of reinforcement down the bottom that something like a Retro X doesn't have. And again, no branding anywhere, okay? So let's jump into some other garments that I have from the line. I only have four pieces I'm gonna show you today, but I will talk about a few more and put some pictures up. So 
This is a pair of pants. Hemp denim designed to endure Patagonia. It has the rhythm logo right here, a very clear picture of that rhythm logo. Also has the rhythm logo on this Levi's style tab uh, that says rhythm on one side and the logo there. Now, these are just nice lightweight sort of denim carpenter pants. They are quite a cool baggy cut. They're women's. Um, but like, you know, these are early 2000s and these would be fashionable to this day, if you ask me. Pretty cool. Patagonia button there. So, so yeah, they also made uh, other hemp denim pieces. Found a jacket on eBay. I'll post it right here. Kind of a weird looking cut, but um, hard to say if I don't have the piece in hand. That's the hemp denim stuff. Now on to the organic cotton. This is kind of what got me excited about Rhythm as a line versus just this one piece. Because I think when I first got this, I thought Rhythm was just the one garment. I didn't know it was a line. But then when I found this, there's the Rhythm logo on the slanted cut pocket with a zipper. Super cool pocket design. Patagonia organic cotton. Um, and then a full frontal zip on this vertical stripe flannel garment. Like it's just super cool design super cool design it's just unusual you don't really see stuff like this you don't see a full zipper or a slanted zipper pocket like it's it's very wearable it's very cool um and yeah when i found this i was like oh shit there must be a lot more garments out there i didn't really even know at that point um so you know i didn't really think much of it but then i started kind of thinking okay every time you know and then a few more pieces started coming through um Again, like very wearable, but again, not not super outdoors functional. It, you know, it obviously is good quality, um, but different than you see other Patagonia garments. You know, again, more fashionable, more interesting details that don't necessarily serve a functional purpose. So, yeah, that's that. And then I have this one other piece. This is my fourth piece here. This is very interesting organic cotton corduroy sort of shirt jacket. It's a very heavy weight. Definitely could be worn as like a lightweight jacket. Um, yeah, just very interesting piece. For the branding, it has this rhythm on the tag there, same as the other one, but no other rhythm logo. It has rhythm, sorry, on the buttons there. You can see, and the buttons are sewn on with this like, um, this sort of ribbing of fabric that goes through the button and sewn back on. Interesting detail there. These cool double Western style pockets. Um, sort of a bigger like 70s collar almost. And then what I thought was cool was the cut on the arm reinforced uh, extra layer there. Look at that. It has this cool design line there. Just uh, a very cool piece. Never even tried this one on, but I will for you guys. So that's the four pieces that I own. Now, they also made interesting sort of uh, Kramer shirts, Gibera shirts, like Kramer would wear from Seinfeld. I'll post one here. Sort of Hawaiian or Cuban-style shirts. Just uh, very different. So, like I said, there is nothing about this line online. Look at that. Look at that collar pop there. There you go, there you have it. Um, there's nothing about this line online. If anybody knows about who designed this line, what actual dates it came out, um, what was the purpose of it, where it was sold, anything, I'd love to know in the comments, please let me know, because it's very interesting to me. Like I said, I am a Patagonia nerd, I love the older shit. Um, I have a massive collection, you wanna see that? Go down in the link below. There you have it. My Patagonia Rhythm Collection. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope you maybe learned something from this video. You know, behind me is the F is in Frank Warehouse. And uh, if you guys want to shop what we have on the F is in Frank website, please do and get a 30% discount right here, right now. Use code VTG and stuff. I'll put that on the screen. Also in the comments down below or in the info section. 
Go to F is in Frank Vintage.com, use code VTG and stuff, get 30% off. And make sure you tune in. I just got a new iPhone. I'm on the iPhone 14 Pro Max, something or other, with the good camera and good audio. So I'm going to do more videos because I think, why the fuck not? I'm here. I'm doing it for you guys. Let's go. 2023. Like this video. Subscribe. See you on the next one.